Hey guys, welcome to the Leadership to Wealth podcast. One of the things that we really get into today is about this sense that you and I can have about not being good enough. There's these areas of our life that we don't push at, that we don't go further. We don't try to achieve because there's this sense and we don't take on our personal leadership and our uniqueness in the world and who we can be for others. And so on our show today, we've got a great man and a great motivational speaker, Chip Baker. Chip Baker, Chip, great to have you on board. How are you doing today? Man, I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. Been looking forward to this. Let's get it. Yeah, come on. I love it. Love it. Um, what, what, Chip? I mean, you've, you've been, you've been doing a lot of things. You, you're, you're all about success stories. I mean, you literally started the Success Chronicles. Um, you're all about success stories, inspiring, teaching, learning, motivation, and uh, you're, you're always out there, um, and talking about these things, uh, learning from other people, sharing people's stories. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, you know, let's just kick it off. What? Why is this? Why is that important to you to to be putting that out into the world? What? What's What's there for you about that? Well, you know, uh, just to hear you say those things. First off, it blows me away that I have an opportunity to do those things. Right. Yeah. So first, I'm truly grateful and honored uh, to be in position to have done some things to put myself in position like that. But then it also makes me think about. You know, I don't care who you are. We all have been influenced by something or someone in our life, right? And it's influenced us in such a manner that it's impacted us and caused us to be who we are, right? Because we've taken a little bit of this, a little bit of that from that person, a little bit of this, and we put it together to make us who we are today. And so in knowing that, we're providing that for people now in our lives. And so uh, that's what makes me what motivates me to strive to do those things and knowing that i'm blessed with the opportunity to give that to to the world to people like someone or so many people have have done to me and i'm just trying to return the favor and do my part yeah yeah you know the two things i really want us to get into today and as as you share a little bit about your story and that Mm -hmm. the the two the two items i really want us to talk about and hear your perspective is really on the air in the areas of you know this feeling that so many people have about not being good enough and then and then the other side of it where it's about taking personal leadership taking taking ownership responsibility and 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 so because it's something i see often I, it's something that I've had to go to war with myself, yeah. you, you know, not being good enough. And, uh, and I think it's, it's something that just kind of hovers underneath for a lot of people where they don't want to take chances. Mm-hmm. They don't want to do the things that they can do to be great. And I know that you're trying to address. So can you talk a little bit about, you know, this sense that we have? about not being good enough yeah. and you, you know, how you see it in the world, how you see it play out yeah. in people and where, where's this stuff come from? Let, let's, let's get right into it and get into that, that crux. So guys, if you're listening, we're going to, we're just going to get in deep and we're going to talk about that aspect that you're feeling, you're not admitting, you, you, you're not even wanting to admit to yourself. So strap in chip, hit us. Talk to well, us well, about it. Well, I'm glad you warned him, Neil, because here it comes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yeah. No, man. You know, I think the first thing <clears throat> when you're looking at, you know, feeling that you're not enough, I think the first thing is we have to understand that the big man made each of us individual, right? And there are some things that you offer that I can't offer. There are some things that I offer that you know, some other people can't offer. And so we have to realize that, like, you are a one of one. Hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me let me give you that one. Okay. <laughs> you, 
like you are a one of one, right? There's no, there's nobody in the world like you, right? Mm -hmm. So that, that tells you, that tells us right there that we are unique. Even as, as many people as it is in the world, there, there's nobody like you or me, right? And so that, that tells you right now that you are unique. You have something unique to offer. And then the next piece uh, that I'm wearing. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, guys. You got to go back. You got, just, yeah, yeah, you just, got, yeah, yeah. Just let yeah. that hit you. I, I want to repeat what Chip just said to us. You are one of one. Yeah. You, you're listening. You are unique. You are one of one. There is nobody else like you. Mm -hmm. and, and and when you when you really realize that, like, like it's stunning, <laughs> right? Like, yeah. oh well, maybe I do have some things to offer that that I can give people, right? Because I'm unique, and each person you are unique. We can't take that in, though, Chip. Like that—that's such a huge thing to take in. Um, I, okay, well, what does that mean? What does that mean? I'm one of one. I, okay, yes, I know. I'm the only one. They say I'm the only one with this thumbprint on this planet. Right. Okay, got that. But what does it really mean to be one of one? Like, what, and and that and that's where I was going to go a little deeper too, because I think. Yeah. I think once you really understand that you have uniqueness of what is given to you and, and in that uniqueness, you have uniqueness and what you can give to others. Right. I think when we understand that, man, it allows our world to be so much better because there's beauty in our differences. Mm -hmm. Right. And I think that the next phase is, is the mindset piece, right? Just like you said, like applying it and putting it to action, like, First is the understanding that we are one of one and we are unique, but then we have to have a mindset shift and understand that um, there is no limits, right? If we limit ourselves, we limit ourselves, right? And if and if if you say, well, well, man, my people, we didn't do this. I hadn't seen this done. I've never. I don't think I'll be able. Well, you'll never be able to do those things. It's a mindset shift. You, if you limit yourself, you limit yourself. Then you also have to know that the possibilities are possible. Whatever oh, wow. it is, come on. You you warned yeah. them. The possibilities are possible. Yeah. You know, and so you have to know that, like, regardless of what you've been through, regardless of the mistakes that you've made, uh, regardless of, of adverse situations that you've been in, the possibilities are still possible for you to do amazing things. And so, How did you come to realize that you were one of one because you I, must have, I, you must have come from a place where you didn't realize yeah. that. And then at some point, some point that hit. Well, well, this ain't, this ain't fluff. I'm giving you people, Neil. I had to, I had to, <laughs> I had to learn through and grow through this for sure. Yep. Like, it's yeah, no those, BS. Those, <laughs> right. those gray hairs in that beard are earned. Yeah. 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 Right? <laughs> yeah. I just think, you know, just me, I, I come from like my family is a faith. I come from a faith based background. And so, you know, just from there, you know, just being in the world with my family, you know, I was taught that as a young age that, you know, God has given you, uh, has blessed you with abilities and talents that nobody else has. Right. And so like, you can hear those things, right. You can, you, you can, you can learn those things and read those things. But, but until you put those things to action and you really see that, right? And so now, for example, there's a lot of things that I grew through, had to grow through in my life. So you catch what I said? There's a lot of things that I had to grow through in my life, right? Not go through, but grow through, right? Yeah. And so when we face those challenges and things that we, that we grow through, we have to pull the blessing from the lessons, right? And when we pull those blessings from the lessons, it shows us that uniqueness that we talked about. It shows us, oh, okay, this is what I learned through that. Okay, so now, this is the good part. The good part is now you really understand now that you can take what you've learned and you grew through and you can use that to help others. Oh, man, it lights you on fire. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Absolutely, but I what, not but, and what I see is that 
people are, you know, we, we grow up and if you got siblings, you're, you're like, uh, I, I ain't special. I'm just one of uh, the other siblings. You go to school and you're one of the kids in school. Every You don't get special treatment. Everybody gets, uh, everyone is the same. Everyone has to learn this way. Oh, I'm not special. And we come up, you go get a job. Here's your desk right beside so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so. You're just like, what, what points you to being able to like, I mean, I, I was raised Christian and Mm -hmm. you you know, God loves you so much so that he gave Jesus to die on a cross for you. Yeah. Yeah. But he, but he gave you to, but he died for everybody. Right. And, and, and reading the part where it says he died for you, we automatically take it and go, okay, it was for for all of us, the whole world, mm-hmm. right? It it's all. I don't I don't know how we we can even how do you take that apart and go? No, it's just me. How do you how like? Why am I that special? I don't know. I think I think it's because you have a uniqueness of something that you can offer the world yeah. and your, your uniqueness is different than my uniqueness. And in that, in that job, that person that has a desk next to me, his uniqueness is different than my uniqueness. Yeah. Right. And the person that's to the left of me that has that desk, his uniqueness is different than my uniqueness. And the yeah. beauty of it is I can learn from his uniqueness because he's way different than me. He can learn from my uniqueness because I'm way different than him, yeah. right? And and I give you that analogy and example because that's something I experienced on a job. You know, I was blessed to be in a situation where I was a coach and I had a desk next to two men that were way different than me, but what they offered were unique. And we developed a great bond. And I learned from this person because of his uniqueness and it made a huge difference in my life. And, and hopefully he was able to learn from me, some things from me. And then the same thing with the desk next to him. You know, that guy had a, a certain uniqueness about him that I was able to learn from, which helped me be a better person in my uniqueness and vice versa. Hopefully he was able to learn from me and we created a, a great bond. And even still to this day, you know, we're close. And so yeah. uh, we just have to realize that, you know, in every situation, we can learn from all of that, but really we have to be focused in, like if we're worried about all of that other, and we don't get to see what we need to be focused in on, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. just we just got to know that you are unique, focus in on your uniqueness, and be grateful that you have it, and also be grateful that you're blessed to be around people that have, have differences because we can all learn from one another. Yeah. I, I think a lot of people, they... They mistake acknowledgement for arrogance. They think that, you you know, guys, if you're listening right now, sometimes it can feel like, oh, if I take in this, right? If I take in this, I'm unique, I'm special, then that, then I'm being arrogant. And where, whereas it's really just acknowledgement to understand that you are unique. Yeah. And I'm it doesn't mean you don't need the other yeah. people. That's what you're saying. Right, it's not that right. I don't need the other people. Actually, no. if you acknowledge it, then you I think you, you actually see the need yeah. for other people even more. Yeah, you seek to learn, you seek for knowledge. And it's def I want to make sure I feel it's definitely not an arrogance because I am not an arrogant guy. You know, I'm truly grateful, I'm truly humble. Um, you know, but I also know that this is good too. I also know that if I work the best that I can work to be the best version of myself, then I can offer the best version of myself to others. Yeah. yeah. Right. And that's, that's not a selfish demeanor. That's like, like I'm, that's a service demeanor. Like I want to be of service. I want to provide good. My intentions are pure. I'm coming with a good heart. Uh, you know, and, and that's what it's about. Hmm. I, I'm, I'm going to give you a flip side here because this is yeah. how I see it. I actually think that if someone does not refuses, if they refuse to 
acknowledge their uniqueness, their specialness. To me, that's arrogance. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, yeah. Hey, I'm gonna just put it like this: get over yourself. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just be real. Like, like, yeah. At the end of the day, like, like, man, it's important for us to get over ourselves and understand that, like, if we try to hold that, if you're gripping, you're tripping. Right. Yeah. Like, I heard that. Yeah, yeah. I heard that. You're gonna try to convince me. Mackie. Yeah. You're gonna try and convince me that that you are so not special. You're you're so not unique. You're gonna tell me that. Meanwhile, we've got everything to the opposite that shows how unique you are. Your circumstances sure. you've gone through, the things you've learned, yep. what yep. you've, yep. you know, you're gonna try and con like. To me, that's pretty arrogant. Okay, yeah, come on, man. And if that's the world you really want to live in, you know, at some point you you've got to look at people and go, okay, how's that? How's that working for you? How's yeah. that working for you? And like you said, I love how you said that. It's a choice. You know, we yeah. have to choose to. We have to choose the good, man. We have to not dwell on the negative, not dwell on the bad, but 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 learn from that. Learn from those tough experiences and choose choose the good, man. I tell yeah. people my uh my blood choose type is B. My my blood type is B positive, <laughs> and uh, and I try to stay away from those people with the blood type of O negative. <laughs> right? Oh snap! <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I get that, and you know, for for many people, what what we see is that what I've been through. You know, people are. People will sit there and go, but Chip, you, you don't understand what I've been through, right? Like my, yeah. okay. what I've been through has shown me, right? Because, because our experience, we think that that's reality, oh, no. right? Like that's what I've been. Oh, my mom said this. My dad, yeah. Yeah. you know, said yeah. that, and and I did this, and and I didn't get into, I didn't get onto that uh, that football squad. I tried and I didn't get on and they said I wasn't good enough. And I tried this and yeah. I, tried, I tried to get that job. I tried to do that. And we see these failures as proof of why we're not good enough. That I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad you, I'm glad you went there with that because, you know, like you said, people can say, but, but, well, the beauty of it is, man, we don't have enough time for me to tell you all the failures and the mistakes and the tough things and the limiting beliefs that people try to place on me. You know, like we, we don't have enough time to do all yeah, of that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, come on, get so, get can you give us one? Can you give us so, one time that, that I mean, it hits just, you? I mean, just just in general, like all of those things that I could use excuse as excuses, you know, raising a single parent home, raising a small town, you know, struggled with education. You know, all, all of those things that we could, you know, some tough things like seeing my brothers make mistakes to go to, you know, did, like all of those things I could make as, as excuses. But what I did, what I chose to do, it's a choice, like we said. I chose to use that and say, hey, it's going to be better. I choose to make it better. And so there's a, I want to share this with your audience too. And I may mispronounce this. It's called, it's a, it's a Japanese deal with uh, what they do with pottery. Right. And it's called Kensikuroi. Right. And so what happens is like when the pottery cracks, uh, when something happens as a crack or it breaks, so they lace it with gold and silver to put it together. Right. Mm -hmm. And so now the pottery is more valuable because it has been broken or cracked. Right. Mm -hmm. And so in our lives, we're the same way. Man, we're all broken. Like nobody's immune from like growing through tough things. And mm -hmm. so on the other side of that, though, on the other side of that brokenness, when you choose to learn the lessons, take the blessings from the lessons, and then use those to help others, you're more valuable for having to grow through that experience than you were before. But it's all about this, the perspective. How you view what you do will always affect how you do what you do. So I can choose all day to whine and say, poor me. Oh, this happened. Oh, yeah, but I can choose to say, oh, this happened. What am I going to learn from that? How am I going to be better from it? And then how am I going to use that 
to help others and understand the fact that in your uniqueness along that way, you're going to be better for being broken. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, in that regards, people miss the very simple biology of how our muscles work. Like yeah, literally got to tear them down. Rip them. Them. You got to tear them down yeah. and then they rebuild and they yeah. rebuild stronger. And so the very things that you think are what make you weak, the very things that you think sure. your failures, the very things that you think yeah. make you not good enough are the very things that actually have built you up and made you stronger. It'd be like Arnold Schwarzenegger walking around going, oh, man, how many times I failed trying to lift that weight? How many times? I, You know, yeah. th meanwhile, the guy is even now in his old age, he's still pretty buff, yeah. you know, and reps make and you better. Miss that simple step and, and proof that mm -hmm. even in our biology, we're built that way. Mm -hmm. I love so it. T t tell me this. Because what what was it like with growing up in a uh, with a single mom and not having the dad around? What what is that piece? Because we see that more and more and more these days. Can can you speak to the people about what what you saw maybe going through it and what you see about that now? Oh. Uh... I think first I want to make sure I clear, make sure we're clear. Like I grew up with a single parent mom. My parents separated. My father was in a different town, but my father was in my life. So, you know, a lot of times we hear about, you know, single parent, you know, dad be dad, yada, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I want to make sure I clear that up and make sure that, yeah. you know, my, that I do justice for my both of my parents. But I think the beauty of it was um, they made a decision to understand that adults have differences but they weren't going to let their differences come between them raising us the right way. And so for that, man, I'm truly, truly grateful. Right. Um, but, so, but did so, you see it like that as a kid? Well, at, at the time I didn't, and it takes, I'm glad you asked that because it takes some maturity to understand that. Yeah. As a yeah. kid, as a kid, I yeah. saw your dad was in a I can't, place. I can't see the kid. Place, yeah. Right. Yeah. And so, so it, it took some maturity. It took some conversations. It took some time. To understand that so yes i mean it was difficult uh, my mother was strategic about making sure that she put us around a good people that, that we can learn from great men in the community great men in the church uh, my coaches my, my teachers the you know, great people that we could learn from and, and i'm grateful for that to have had that in my community uh, as well as in college you know i met some great men college teammates that i'm still close to today my, you know, my college coaches, and then even into my career, um, and I've been fortunate to be around some great people that I could just just learn from. And so um, it, it, it definitely was some tough times, um, yeah. you know, growing up. You know, like I said, nobody's immune to that. But, but it's hard for me to, um, to, to, to see the negative when I'm looking for the good because there was good. What it showed me was um, – what I don't want in my life and some things, you know, now I've strived to be a great father uh, with my, with my son, you know, now I've strived to be a great husband in my relationship, you know? And so there's some things that, you know, we see that we learn. It allows me, it allowed me in my career to see kids. Like I can see it on you. Like you don't have to say, yeah. like, I see the hurt. Like I see some of the pain, you know, yeah. but I want you yeah. to know that this is a safe space. Well, you can come on in. I got you. Don't worry about all of that. This is a safe space. Come on in. I I, I get yeah. it. You know. Yeah. But but, but we all right. We're gonna help you get better and learn from that. But take take us to the to the pain. Take us to where that where you were that kid because you know I can clearly see. I can sense that out of what you've come from, you yeah. You know, you're speaking into this world now. You've been able to grow through it right but yeah, but yeah what was that that kid went through some pain he went through that what was he feeling like back then um how did he see it you know what's crazy is 
I, I, let me just give you a quick context because because yeah, yeah. for me my 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 uh my dad's an alcoholic and mm -hmm. my brother wished that that they would separate that my mom yeah. would leave him yeah and because he was also violent and mm -hmm. so she so he wished that that he would leave and and so we grew up with a whole different context my dad didn't mm -hmm. go anywhere but but would there was a different kind of shame <laughs> There was a, di yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. there was a different kind of pain, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So, so that for me, that kid grew me as that kid. I grew up with this different kind of pain of this is who my dad is, and yeah. you know, being ashamed, being in pain, thinking if that's my father, then maybe I'm not good enough yeah. as well. Maybe I'm like that, and and all of these questions around because we normally look as as to those boys yeah. we look to our dads usually as mm -hmm. the first symbol of who we can be in this world mm -hmm. and so That's, i know that from my perspective yeah. man can you can you give me a little something of what that was like yeah um i, I Oh man, he's shifting in the seat, guys. If you're not, if you listen to this, he's shifting around. He got, he's sitting on some tax right now. And <laughs> no, nah, no, no tax, man. Yeah. I just, uh, I think, I think for me, um, in my house, there was so much love that it was covered a lot by. I didn't realize some of those things yeah. until later, like. Um, you know, of course, of course, I knew that my father wasn't in the house. Of course, you want to throw the ball with dad and yeah. all of those things. Of course, that you see the the struggle of mom. You know, working multiple jobs to make ends meet. You know, all of those things that you see that that teach you to be dependable. That teach oh, you to dang. step up, to step he, up, and and be. You just dropped something on me. You just Come dropped on. something on me right there. See, see, this is why, guys. This is why you need to share your story and hear other people's story. You know what you just dropped on me? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. I never wanted my dad to go throw the ball with me. I never wanted him to go throw the ball with me. Cause I, I was scared. Oh, I was wow. scared, man. And uh, my dad being quiet was a good thing. My dad Ooh. was sitting on the couch leave him alone that was a good thing and so you just dropped on me something with me and my kids to because i don't i don't always think do they want to go throw the ball with me oh shoot man you just hit me with a sledgehammer oh right on air okay guys if you're hearing this this is real time i'm i'm just getting hit by this <laughs> And thinking about my own relationship with my kids. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. I I missed after you said that. I missed what you said after um, <laughs> after that because you just uh, hit me with a sledgehammer. Hearing that, hearing that little piece. Yeah. Oh yeah. man, I don't. I think I see how I think differently. I'm gonna have to spend some time on that one. Yes, but so, awesome. Sorry, my man. Please, please. Yeah, no, no tell, worries, tell no me. worries. Tell yeah, me. the sledgehammer will make you lose your hearing sometime. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Just, no, oh, I just, man. yeah, just, I mean, like I said, just, you know, of course, throwing the ball, of course, the pain of, you know, seeing mom struggle to, to maintain multiple jobs to make ends meet, you know, um, you know, all of those things. Uh, but, but then the, the good thing about growing through bad situations is that it teaches you what you don't want. Yeah. You know, you know, like you said in your situation, like you see, like it, it helps you. Okay, so now as a man, okay, here's what I didn't have, but here's what I need to provide to my children, to my family, uh, to the people that I'm around that's coming up, that so I can make it better for the next generation, and that's really what it's about. All right. Well, man, you just hit me with with a hard one. I'm uh, with a with a sledgehammer. It's not hard, actually. I'm I'm grateful. I I want to look. Yeah. I want to go talk to my kids and give yeah, them a sorry. call and say, hey, what was your what's your experience? Because my my kids are all teenagers now, right? Mm. So they're they're definitely in the stage where 
they're not really wanting to, you know, two are gone yeah, off yeah. to university, to yeah. uh, high school. They're spending time with their friends. But I want to ask them that experience. So, but I want to get to this piece about how do we take that personal ownership, that accountability, that leadership mm -hmm. to acknowledge the choice and and move forward in what should be our greatness, what should be our strength, yeah. what yeah. what is our uniqueness? How do we make that step? Well, what are, what well, are the steps to make those steps? Well, the steps to make the steps. I think there's two components to that. I think the first component is, is realizing uh, what you want your legacy to be, right? So, okay, so... So at the end of the day, because we're all going to check out here sometime, right? At the end of the day, like, like what, do you, what do you want your legacy to be, right? And I think that if you are focused in on that, that it allows you to live that out in your life by your actions, because your actions speak louder than words. Like, we can talk all day about what I'm going to do. I plan to do this. But, bro, are you putting the work in? And so... To put the work in, I want to share this with you and your audience. I'll call it my SHG principle, right? This is to put the proper actions in to leave the proper legacy that you want to leave. And the S is show up, yeah. right? If, if you're supposed to be involved in something and you told somebody, somebody you're going to do something, do that. Show up you know, early and not on time because on time is late, right? <laughs> yeah. And when you yeah. And when you're there, make sure that you're in the moment so that you get – so that you maximize the experience that you have and you're intentional about it. So, so that's the S, show up. The H is have a great attitude. And, and for me, give this a good one, y'all write this one down. Gratitude is the attitude that determines our altitude. Come on, Neil. Gratitude, Let me give you that Get one it. again. Let me give you that one again. Gratitude is the attitude that determines our altitude. And what I mean by yeah. that is we have to be grateful for what we do have. You know, yes, things could be better, but they could also be way worse, right? Mm -hmm. So we have to live in a in a space of where we're grateful for what we do have. And what that allows us to do is it allows us to work with what you got. Okay, I want to reverse engineer that. If, if we're unhappy, if you're unhappy with your altitude, where you're at, then you got to back look at your attitude and if your attitude there's an issue with your attitude it's probably because there's an issue with your gratitude focus on the good yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. like like yeah there, there, there's something good about every situation right yeah. oh i'm alive <laughs> you mm. know oh uh, my shoes may not be good but i have shoes you know yeah. i may not like this meal that i'm eating but i'm able to eat you know so Find something good and just focus in on I, that good. And we're, then it'll, we're, it'll we're commanded. Out. We're commanded yeah. to do that, right? Yeah, That's I believe that. says, think about what is good, what is noble, what is right, what is pure. Mm, think about yeah, these things. Yep. Yeah. 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 from being That's ineffective. It. Yeah, yeah. And, okay, and, then, so, and, keep, and then the G yeah. is give your all. Give right? your so, all, yeah. And so if you're striving to do something, if you say you're going to do something, give everything you got to it. And so yeah. visualize this with me. So if I show up today, have a great attitude, and give my all, is that a pretty good day for me? Yeah. 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 It is. So yeah, then I, 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 I reflect in the evening, and boom, I hit the ground running tomorrow, and I SHG tomorrow. That's another good day. So follow along with me, and I do this for a week. That's a good week. I do it for a month. Good month, good months, good years. And what happens is when I get to go visit the big man, it will yeah, have, have, right. it will have it will have allowed me to not just leave a legacy, but it will have allowed me to live a legacy by my day-to-day -day action, just by showing yeah. up, having a great attitude, and giving my all each moment of each day. Yeah. Okay. I know we got to let you go, Chip. What are, What are you excited about? What What are you working yeah. on next? I yeah. I know you you we're gonna put the links in uh, the show notes. Uh, yes, sir. Because you've written. Yeah, you've written some best-selling books. Um, yes, sir. What, what what are you excited about right now and moving into? Yeah, just excited about the opportunities to share and pour into uh, to others 
continue to do speaking, leadership development, uh, publishing books, uh, you know, my social media. If you guys want to go check it out, it's uh, Chip Baker TSC, as in the Chip Baker, the Success Chronicles TSC, except for Twitter and Twitter is Chip Baker 19. And so as we close, I just want to say thanks again so much for having me. Thanks for the opportunity to be on your platform. Love what you do. And uh, I'm just grateful for the opportunity. Uh, Chip, thank you so much. You, yes, sir. You know, I know we got to let you go, but you you hit me with a sledgehammer today, guys. I I hope you sorry. appreciate. I hope you get no. Don't say sorry, man. You you might have you might have just uh, yeah. Sorry, not you know, sorry. Yeah, you know, sometimes you need a sledgehammer yes, sir. to something sure. to break that up because otherwise you build a faulty foundation, right? Yes, and, sir. You got to go address those things. So I, I'm really grateful for that. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for your time. Guys, thank you so much for listening in uh, with us with Chip. And Chip, thank you so much for coming on the show and sharing your wisdom, your inspiration, your learning. Hope to hear more from you. And uh, uh, with that, guys, we love you. We're out. This is the Leadership to Wealth podcast. On behalf of myself, your host, Neil D'Souza, and Chip. Baker. Go get it. See you again.